Good morning. This is Frank with B. Young RV in Milwaukee, Oregon, the greater Portland metro area. Today I have the privilege to show you the new Momentum. And this is by Grand Design Recreational Vehicle Company. And this is state of the art. I don't believe there's another competitor that has anything like it. And we start off, we have a painted one piece fiberglass front cap. We got LED docking lights here. We have the Rotoflex Trail Air hitch up here. This is a 355TH toy hauler. Uh, we have a couple of these in stock right at the present time. They've just landed. So look underneath down in here. This happens to be on a 12 inch rail system Z frame. And you'll notice that the generator sits lower in here. We have a lot more room in here. And if you happen to be in here, in this particular coach, you can access from both sides. There's room for the second battery in here. Switch for the docking light. You notice we have the 30 pound LP cylinders in here, but if you wanted larger, there is room to be able to put it, but that should be ample, one on each side. Now this is a luxury colored gel coat siding. See how smooth it is? And while we're talking about this color, the roof on here happens to be pretty close to the same color, so it blends in real nice. And on the roof, uh, this particular company uh, puts extra sealant up there instead of just skimping on it because water does sit a little bit on the roof in areas where you fasten things down. So they've d gone the extra measure to make sure that it's past the seam area. You'll notice up on top we have two ACs up on here, Dometic in the front and a 15,000 BTU with a heat pump in the center. You can put an optional 13.5 in the back and they are all ducted with uh, thermal foil wrap ducts on there so we don't waste anything. And that is a trusted roof up there with an R38 insulation factor. All right, look at this cargo hold in here, how big this is. Because of the way this chassis is built with the 12 inch uh, Z framing, we have the largest cargo area in the industry. There's a battery disconnect up in here. And if you look up in here, you can see the heat ducts, how they're hydrofoil wrapped and then you do have heat into here. All aluminum framing up in here. We'll have central back. And you'll notice that the, the central back is there with the hose and everything. We do have a bracket to be able to put a TV out here. You can just slide and drop one in here. Uh, the other big deal is these slam lock doors. Now these doors are uh, extremely thick as you'll notice and they are slam lock, but they're magnetic. We don't break latches because everybody's jacking on those like that. Anyway, slam lock, uh, frameless windows, electric awning, of course. Now the positive about this electric awning, it goes completely from the door. We got a little shorter arm here and we can go clear to the nose piece so it covers all this. That's a big deal. This is 30 inch wide door, 78 inches. Most of the competition is only 70. So those guys over six foot do headbang on these, but not on this. The momentum is way above everybody. The other thing you're gonna love, look at this. The door does not cover up this door here. Don't have to move the door. Aluminum step, lightweight. You know how uh, those that have had RVs, when you get the steel ones, they're all rusted up and you can't move them. And, no way your wife could fold them. And this is pretty low here to get in and out. This is the equal flex system. But what this also has is the correct track. So what that means is that it can be lined up. It can be adjusted. That's really important when guys get pretty rough with these and take them in the sand and twist them up in that. You'll also notice, okay, this is a dual axle system. These are 8,000 pound axles, not sixes. And you know, some guys say they want triple axles and that. The problem is, that's a lot of stress on the suspension when you have triple axles twisting them sharp. This is also an H-rated tire. This is a 17.5, 215.75R17.5, H-rated. Nobody does that in the industry. And so with that, we get more cargo carrying capacity and more strength. Now we do have the rear deck here. Now this rear deck is rated for 1,500 pounds when it's down here. So what you gotta do is, I'm gonna have to give you a scale so you can weigh all your friends when you're partying out here and make sure you don't go over 1,500 pounds. Now when it's down and you're gonna load, it's 3,000 pounds. You know, it's nice surface, you got the patio here. This is a beautiful setup. 
We do have, uh, you know, when you look up above here, you'll see an awning back on the back here. Uh, that one you spin out and then there, this company has actually put another standard awning out here on the back door. You'll see the turn spouts up there. They're even color matched out here to shove the rain off the side. Let's talk about the ladder. I love this type of ladder. I'm not a fan of having to take a ladder out of the back of the cargo hold, snap it on, whatever, and then store it in there and trip over it when you're trying to put away the coach. So easy to get in and out. I've actually walked on the roof today and uh, inspected the roof. Uh, it is a walk-on roof. It is solid enough roof to be able to do that. There's a pump inside here. You have uh, gas for the generator here. It's 30 gallons, okay, with your switch here. We also have one separate with the pump. Now, the significant about that is that some people run racing fuel. Okay, we're going to put standard unleaded in here for the generator. And if you're going to do racing fuel, you can, whatever, put it in here. Look at the size of that window back here in the car, uh, garage. Huge. Now, this is a big deal here. This is your, you know, everybody's got this, right? Well, this has got, so we can uh, winterize, sanitize, everything's here. Easy instructions, once you learn them. Everything's in here. You can actually suck the antifreeze from here and go through all the system if you're going to winterize and not use it in the winter. There's actually heat in here. Full frustration water through the whole coach. All right. Light switches in here, I love it. You got a uh, satellite to hook up for the bedroom cable, the garage. Um, I mean, this thing is state of the art. Uh, this is your LCI electronic leveling system. Uh, one of our techs or tech support will take you through it when you purchase this coach and show you how to make it so easy to take it on and off your truck and level it. It's great. All right, you'll notice underneath here, a little light so you don't headbang yourself on the slide. Of course, I won't do that. Um, you got blue LED lights underneath here. All right, I think it's time to go inside of this baby and you'll be surprised when you get inside. Let's go. Anyway, great door, right? Uh, this does have central vac. Uh, you also have the spot over here where you can sweep the stuff. This is a great kitchen, LG countertop is a lot lighter than that big old heavy granite that one of the companies uses. Uh, you use it for a cutting board if you have to. This is a 6040 stainless steel sink. Think about how big this is. You know, I don't have that in my RV. And it's throughout this area up here. You'll notice the blue LED lights under here to give some accent to it. Uh, nice big uh, adjustable pantry shelves. I mean, this is beautiful rich wood, isn't it? This is the, uh, the interior of this is a sand color. There's that uh, pantry that goes back into the garage. So if somebody wants to grab, you put the crackers or whatever in there. Um, big four door Norco refrigerator. Look how big this baby is. The other thing is, you tell the, the 12 year old to go get some popsicles or ice cream, they can reach in here. It's not so up here, criminy. It's the way it should be. These guys know what they're doing for the consumer. Of course, big 22 inch oven. Look at the size of that baby. Not some little 16. Nice uh, LG uh, air. And they also put it up here on the wall to splash. That's not cardboard up there. And of course, we got a nice big uh, microwave here. It's more cabinets. Uh, again, LED lights. We have switches everywhere to do this, okay? Instead of having to flip buttons on them. Now, when we go up above here, you'll notice a loft up here. Now, what's positive about the loft is there's uh, air conditioning up into that because that can get a little hot up there. It's a small, you know, this is where number one son or number one daughter gets their own private little spot. And they got a light switch for up there. We've got air conditioning, it's all ducted, remember. Uh, and it's also a thermal foil wrap. When you go in the bathroom, there'll be a beautiful china bowl toilet off to the left here. And behind it, there's a huge area in here for towels open. There's four big open capacity uh, shelves in here. We have a one-piece shower in here, not a two-piece. There's even a place to sit down, shave legs. I mean, it's huge. You'll notice the uh, nice uh, round bowl here. People laugh about that. Uh, but with the positive about that, it gives me more counter space. Nice accent down here, darker cabinets. There's a heat vent here also. This is a nice bathroom. This is a full uh, queen 
a mattress, 60 by 80. It's not a RV queen. It's also a premium memory foam mattress, not a cheap mattress. You know, so many of them give it. Um, this is queen. We do get nightstands with queen. There is an option for king, but when you do king, you're going to lose whatever you have on the side there. Uh, you have light switch here. These windows, when they're put in, installed, there's already an aluminum framing around the wall surfaces. Underneath the bed, I want to tell you, they don't use chipboard here. Nice, smooth, high grade plywood. Nice, heavy pistons. Here's that extra table um, that would go in the back when you want to use it for eating. And there's even a safe down in here, believe it or not. And you see how this is nicely finished off? It's not rough. I mean, they use the paneling in here, put cover on it, real screws, not stapled. A little spot here. You'll also love this for sitting down, okay, or whatever you want. You know, it's got some place to hide some stuff, shove it in there. The average person, if they came in here, would never know that was there. Again, what a deal. I mean, these guys have gone first cabin on this. Look at this closet up here. What I want to tell you about this closet, this is in the nose piece. Now, unlike other manufacturers, some of them out there, this is all aluminum framing up inside the nose piece. Mostly use wood. There's insulation back here. I may not even put insulation up there in that nose piece when they do something like this. You got the LED mood lights up here. Look at the rack up here. It's nice and solid. Place for shoe. I can actually stand up in here. Now, the other thing is you can put a washer dryer in here. There'll be separates. Well, like stackables, but they're not stacked. One over here, one over there if you wanted to. Nice chest of drawers up here. Nice roller bearing guides. And the TV comes with it. A decent brand. Sansui, very good brand line. Anybody ready for cards? Check this out. This table comes with this as standard in the momentum. Now, there is an extra table for eating because I don't know if I'd want to eat on here unless I was really having a good poker game going. Anyway, this will make into a bed also. This is fairly light so I can move it. Uh, this is the Happy Jack system. There's another bed up above here. Now, because the windows are um, so dark in here, we're going to only have a nightshade. Positive about that, they're not going to break down when we're taking it across sand with another uh, blind in there. It's so heavy. Almost impossible to see in here. These chairs also come with this. These are the type you can take outside. So they're big, heavy ones. So kind of a recliner. Indoor, outdoor. Nice. Really nice. Nice big door here to separate the room. A little more residential style. Beverage cooler, 66 can beverage cooler. There is a lock on it, but uh, what do you check that out? Instead of everybody going in and out, they can come right in here and get it. Uh, you'll notice the heat duct here, right? Got another cabinet in here that you can reach a pantry from the kitchen side, vice versa. That'll make the wife happier, the girlfriend. You got a nice uh, radio back here with speakers. Check out the TV. You got a big sound bar here. This is a 32 inch HD, uh, T LED HD. It is also adjustable. So, you know, if somebody's got the bed halfway down, they could tilt it up or, um, anyway, it's an adjustable TV. It's just not fixed there. All right. What do you think of this floor? Nice, huh? Not just like everybody else's. This is a great floor. You also notice there's no uh, heat ducts in the floor. And I'll show you where those come. They come from the front wall here. Now this is residential style furniture right here. It does have rec you know recliners in it. Okay, very nice. Big picture window in here. Look at that. Safety windows there also. Look at the height of the slide here. You also got cabinets above here. That's kind of rare. You know, not to get the cabinet. Look at the finish. Hidden hinges on here. Uh, this is solid wood up there. This is solid wood. Now this is a big 46 inch HD LED TV. Bluetooth, stereo system here, a DVD player, um, CD player, all in one. Fireplace, of course, in here. If I'm in a place where I got electricity and I want 5,000 plus BTUs of heat coming out of here, I can do that. Um, cabinets in here, nose of furnace ducts. And uh, again, this is Frank at B Young RV. This is one of many of the uh, toy haulers that we carry in stock here at B Young RV. Um, I welcome you to come down at any time to look at these. We're open seven days a week unless it's a holiday. 
And if you need any further information, you can go on our webpage and you can contact me if you'd like to talk to me uh, via our contact list there. Remember, you come shopping today at B Young RV, you could be camping tomorrow. We make it easy. Thank you.